Yo ninjas and Kaio, welcome to this new series of daily videos to level up your power moves. I will upload one video per day from December 1st until December 24th. In each video I'm gonna show you some exercises or a little combo to improve your power. We're gonna start easy in the first episode, so you can still follow them if you are a beginner as well, and we are gonna increase the level step by step. The goal of this 24 video program is to improve your power move control and create new combos and opportunities with the power moves you have. Beside this program I'm also gonna post daily on Patreon from December 1st to December 24th. In my daily Patreon videos I'm gonna focus on how to be more creative with the power moves you have and with the combos that I'm teaching in these tutorials. So make sure to join my Patreon, link in the description and let's start! <laughs> track control or to learn elbow tracks. First of all make sure you learn the previous move that I taught you in the previous tutorial or at least you have tried this move a couple times and you feel a little bit comfortable with it. After that we want to try connecting this move to another move and from another move. In this case we are going to use the flare but if you want you can do the same without using a flare but a windmill for example or a swipe for example or a 90 or a hell. In my opinion you should use the move that is more comfortable for you. So if you are very good in windmills but you're not so good in flares, use windmills first. So basically we're gonna do one round of the move you chose, in this case one round of flare. From the flare we're gonna do a small spinning handstand on our elbows and then we're gonna connect the flare again. So from the flare, let's say that I'm doing that I did one round of flare, I spin clockwise, so I'm on the left hand from here and when I reach the elbow freeze, like this on the right elbow. From the right elbow, you just wanna cross the other elbow in this way and reach the elbow piece on the left. I'm gonna show you slowly just to make you understand the concept of what I'm saying. Flare very slowly. From here, right elbow freeze, left elbow freeze. From the left elbow freeze to connect the flare again, I can do it in two ways. The hardest way is just going into flare like this. The easiest way is reaching a tartar freeze first or a side freeze and then going back to flare. If you want to connect windmills or swipes, maybe it's easier without using the freeze. It depends. It's up to you actually. For some people it could be easier going to swipes using the freeze in this way. For some other people from the left elbow, they can just do this and go to swipe from here and for windmill the same you can directly go to windmill by dropping in this way or you can reach the freeze and then go to windmill so this is up to you practice very slowly at first even if you stop in the move you are doing so i really understand how the movement works then with time try to make it smoother and faster so if you really want to have a very good and solid control on your power moves practice slow at first you can even stop in the power move, you can stop here in a flare and from here go to the elbow. If you don't care about having a good control, you just care about doing the power move, you can even not stop, just spin. It's up to you. Once you get this combo, even with another move, as I said before, with a windmill or with a swipe or with a 90, I don't know, or hello, you can use the same tips and exercises that I told you in the previous episode to transform this elbow spinning handstand into an elbow trap. So first thing is tucking your head in, second thing is adding a little bounce with your legs. Do one thing at a time, so don't try to do both things together, head and legs at the same time, but focus on the head first, so don't do this but stay with your head in, in this way, straight or down, not looking at the floor, up. Once you get it and it feels comfortable, just add a small bounce with your legs. Just a little bit of this movement with your legs when you jump from the right elbow to the left elbow. Once you get comfortable with the head position and with the bounce with your legs, just try with time to add more momentum and more speed and this move will become an elbow track and you will be able to connect the elbow track to other power moves. 
like flares, swipes, windmills, air flares, 90s, hellos, whatever you want. Take things slowly and step by step. Get more creative with this combo and with your power moves, join my Patreon link in the description. As I said in the beginning, we are going to increase the level step by step. If you want to follow this program and try these combos, maybe you can try to post your videos and tag me on my Instagram at kayofalcro so I can check your progress about these combos and exercises and I will share your posts on my Instagram story. Doesn't matter if you do it fast, you can do it slowly. See you tomorrow with a new combo and new exercises. Yo ninjas!